Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. And anyone else that comes along and watches my channel, uh, I know there's a lot of channels now that are covering this. But it appears the one to watch is Dutch Sense. Um, and you might not know of others. Share it in the comments if you know of others that are keeping a uh, really close eye on this. Um, there's something wrong with my computer. Um, I got this little mouse pad wet yesterday. And I took a tissue and I rubbed it off. And um, now I, can't, I cannot touch the mouse pad or it blows up everything. So you see how it looks. I thought if I cut it off and then cut it back on, I would have it fixed. But it's still, uh, I didn't hardly touch it, so it didn't get real big. But I mean, I'm, I'm seeing it better. That's good. Praise the Lord for that, right? Okay, so here's the latest that I could find. And this is from 11 hours ago. And he's saying that the, the volcano has erupted. Now all the Discovery Channel shows fear-mongering comes to mind. Because, yeah, they've done documentaries on when this happens, what will happen. It's not fear-mongering, Dutch. It's showing what could happen. And there's many prophecies about it. But anyway, he's saying it's possible right now, not likely. But what Steve the Noon just showed that sent me here was that he's saying, you know, you won't have eight to nine hours warning. It'll only be a half an hour to an hour because our buoy system is right off our coast. And many of them are offline. Unless they cut them on in the middle of the night. But it's possible for sure, he says. You see that? Okay, I guess I don't, it doesn't really do me any good to subscribe to these people. Because I don't... I don't... I get everything that I share with you either through email. Or signal. Or directly from Kathy. From Grafton and Teen Jesus, she sends me an email. I don't even have time to go surfing for the for anything different because I'm constantly trying to do email signal or put the video up or and, and or taking care of my dog. And then there's God. Oh yeah, let's not forget about him. Let's not keep our eyes glued on this. And remember to keep your prayer time appointments. Right? If not, increase them. And your praise and worship. And also, pray for discernment. If you live near the East Coast, pray for what should you do. Should you be preparing to run? Should you be preparing to, to do what you have to? Steve said if he lived in Atlanta still, He'd be packing up and going to higher ground right now for a little vacation for a just in case scenario like I was saying last night just in case can you take a few days off work and get out of Florida he says we are between possible and likely we are between a watch and a warning. We're <coughs> between don't worry and the crap hits the fan. Now, which scenario would you rather have to be driving in? Hundreds, thousands on the highways that get bound up because some the cars keep running out of gas and you're stuck there like in deep impact where the tsunami just comes right on over you. If a tsunami happens, the buoys won't be helping since there are none of the in the location or anywhere across the Atlantic until the coast of the USA directly. 
and it gives you a link here to the ndbc.noaa.gov and they're not working you can go in there and let's go see if they're back online he says i suppose if the island fractures and falls into the atlantic the government might tell us on tsunami.gov remember don't be scared be prepared that's right never be scared if you've got your life right with the lord you've repented you're doing everything you can to live a christian life that means christ-like is your attitude christ-like mine's not always i'm still working on it and yet i've been delivered of all my demons but i'm still human you know i can still get upset sad happy wanting you know bored maybe for a brief little bit wanting to go somewhere wishing i could go on a vacation wishing i could do what the others do without worrying about does this just please god if i sit and watch this movie with these people and i think to myself yeah it would just please him knowing what was probably in it you see what i'm saying if world i'm stuck in this world we are stuck in this world until we're taken outside of time in the barley harvest So we have to battle our, you know, external demons. Now they're all external. <laughs> Not from within. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Stay out of the world. Stay in God. Stay under the safety of the shelter of his wings. See Psalm 91 on that. Know this scripture. Nothing shall by any means harm you. Look that one up. Nothing shall by any means harm you. Well, it'll say harm me in the word. Nothing shall by any means harm me. Live every day to the fullest. Spread the gospel where you can. Stay warned. Stay prepared and if you don't want to get up if you can't get up and leave be prepared to die and meet your maker drowning is pretty quick just be ready to go all right let's go see if um the buoy i want to look at the buoys i think this is where dan goes dan from grafted in team jesus he and Kathy started that ministry. It's a ministry. When you go there to their website, teamjesus222.com, you'll see lots of videos and there's a chat room and lots of information on the, the, the latest medical treatment they want everybody to have. And lots of prophecy. They have discerned. We as a team have gone over many prophecies and weighed in on is this from God or not? Do we share this or not? And many things don't get shared. They get proposed by one of us in the team and we go over it and we decide, nope, we're not sharing that. All right, look at all these little Dot it, dot things. All right, let's see what they mean. I know the red means no data. Okay, see down here? Here's my cursor. Here, this shows a hurricane. This shows a tropical storm. This little symbol means tropical depression. Um, up here, stations with recent data are yellow. So the yellow ones do have recent data. Triangle ones, well, they're both 
squares turned up, stations with historical data only, staged stations with no data in the last eight hours. 24 hours for tsunami stations. Well, now how do we know which ones are tsunami stations? That's what I want to know. Uh, see, I don't know how to read it. I guess if you click on one. Oh, look at that. Let's click on, where's the eastern cup? There's a lot of them in here. Let's click on this one, way out here in the middle. It's red. Station 41X01. Adrift from 41001. 150 no north NM. 150 NMs. East of Cape Hatteras. Okay, well we know this is Africa. So La Palma is probably like here or down right around here Java see that you can go here and look around yourself here is a uh, tropical storm Peter you see that looks like a circle tropical storm Peter and then you have one over here tropical storm Rose right off uh, in between Peter and Africa. But let's remember this. God is in control. He is still on the throne. His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. His ways are higher than our ways. He will meet you at death's door. You just be ready to go. If you don't want to run, just be ready to go. If you think you're one of the, or know <laughs> that you're one of the first fruits of barley harvest, you're not going anywhere because you got to have your body to be glorified into it. To come back. To come back. To help the others. Otherwise, you're just a spirit up there until the sixth seal when it says and then there was a great earthquake and it you have to go back to like second thessalonians or maybe it's first thessalonians where it says and the dead in christ shall rise and then we who are alive and remain remain means you were left behind it also means have survived we who are alive and have survived will meet the Lord in the air with everyone who's been resurrected from the dead that's going to heaven and those on the earth that have survived and they remain will meet the Lord in the air. He doesn't come to earth to get you. You will meet him in the air and thus shall you always be with the Lord after this, that's the sixth seal. Okay? So, you can look that up. Revelation chapter 6 and 7. Alright. Um, what was I going to say? I guess that was it. So since this isn't live, I'm not going to turn it on because it's old news. It's 12 hours old. A lot happens in 12 hours when you're talking about the fissures breaking. Fissures have broken on the surface. How long will it take them to break all the way through? Hours? A day? I'd be staying in prayer. If I were you, not a day to run around to the mall and clean your house if you have to take breaks and pray I know that nothing shall by any means harm me I'm going outside of time soon 
and I'll be back to help all that don't go in the first round that are going after the six seals opened those who have remained those who have been diligent to walk the walk that they talked you can't just talk to talk you have to walk the walk do the things Jesus taught and that Paul expounded on in Ephesians about your helmet of salvation in Ephesians 6 do you have spiritual warfare I mean your spiritual armor do you do spiritual warfare have you kicked out your demons or tried your best to do it I don't know what more to say there's plenty of videos on here all you have to do is type in search bar tsunami update and go to Dutch sense and you'll find enough information and if we're blessed enough you those of you need to know you'll actually get a warning from the government on your cell phone but I wouldn't count on it just saying they work for the enemy and they want you dead they want your soul in hell or not alive so you can spread the gospel anymore do you get what I'm saying are you making the devil mad I hope you are I hope your life has him upset unfortunately it comes with persecution it comes with people making fun of you it comes with an unusual lifestyle that others just like I said make fun of you or stay away from you or don't listen to you and they don't respect what you know so I'm going to close it off here and I don't know what will get cut off but I hope not much I pray that God will allow this one to go completely up because what I'm telling you is what well, some of you need to hear you need to stop ignoring the warnings physically because you're not ready to go some of you need to repent for your sins because you've been stuck in a denomination that says once you're saved you're always saved and you never need to repent you believe that once you've accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Savior you are set like glue or like a statue set in cement it's going nowhere God has you in the palm of his hand and nothing shall by any means take you out of it that's what the word says nothing or no one on this earth shall be able to pull you out of it but Jesus can go bye because you racked up a list of sins so long and you never bothered to repent and say Lord I'm so sorry I know you died on the cross to cover those sins so you think they're all covered past present and future because some preacher was taught that in a seminary run by Jesuits who work directly for the Pope who sits directly under Satan you can believe it or not but it's true the seminaries all of them are teaching young men and women that go in there to learn to be a preacher you're being taught lies some not so bad some worse than others some you're just learning the word of God according to their interpretation for that denomination why are there 30,000 denominations in America why in America alone no, never mind the ones outside I'm talking Christian denominations because you don't just have Baptists you have Southern Baptists you have missionary Baptists you have free will Baptists there there's there's probably a dozen of them where do you how do you come up with 30,000 who came up with that Barna it's either Barna or Kong 
you can look that up. Give you something to do when you're bored. Karma uh, is Christian Apologetics Research Ministry. CARM. I'm sorry, it's not karma. It's CARM. It's capitals. C A R M. Or Barna Research. It's Christian. I would trust. Well, I don't know. I'm trusting both. I think they do good work. I'm not saying that everything you read that's of a man's opinion is 100% right. I haven't agreed with 100% of everything I read on CARM. I don't know if it's CARM.org or CARM.com, but it's. You can search it. You can know about a lot of religions on there. Because they include Jehovah's Witnesses, Mormons, Catholics as Christians. I don't think there's but one faction of Catholicism as a denomination. I don't know how they come up with 30,000. I honestly don't. Kind of big number there, and they're not all right. Guess what? There's only one God, one faith, one baptism. There's one gospel, There's one truth. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. What he says in the Word of God is the truth.